Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Maximum Automation. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can integrate LEO reports with any unit framework. LEO framework is another test report tool that shows a very concise representation of test execution. And we can integrate the LEO report into our framework with the help of nunit.leo package. So let's get started. Here is my project created using nunit as a test framework. And here I have two test classes created, which further contains the test methods. In this login test class, I have these three test methods available for the invalid login functionality. And in this home test class, again, I have these three test methods available related to the search functionality. Now to generate the execution report of these test cases in Allure. First of all, we need to add an unit Allure package in the dependency. So I'll go to the manage new get package. And we'll search for Allure and unit. Select the n unit dot Allure package from the list. And then install the latest version of it. So the package has been installed. And if I expand the dependencies over here, then we can see the package and unit dot Allure is now listed over here. After that, to generate the test class results in Allure format, we need to add an attribute to the test class. And the attribute which we need to use is Allure and unit, which is available under and unit dot Allure dot core namespace. Similarly, we have to add this attribute into each test class for which we want to generate the Allure report. And if I don't add the Allure and unit attribute, but I execute my test of this class, then I won't get my test result generated for this class into an Allure report. So let's see how it will look like. Currently, I have two test classes where in one class I have added the Allure and unit attribute. And then in another class, I have not provided the attribute. Now, if I run all my tests, then once the execution is done, then we'll get the Allure report only for the test class which is marked with the attribute Allure and unit. Now let's say the test execution is done and we have one failure in login test class. To see the Allure report, let me first open the project in File Explorer. The default directory where the Allure result will be generated is bin folder. If you want to change the result directory, then you can add earlier config JSON file in your project and then provide the directory path where you want to generate the results. So here are the LEO results files generated in JSON format. And using these JSON files, we'll create our LEO HTML report. To generate the LEO HTML report, let me first open the command prompt here. And then I'll type Allure serve followed by Allure result folder and then hit enter. This command will generate the Allure HTML report which will open in the default browser. You can see this is our Allure HTML report and it shows the execution status of only three test cases. 
while we have executed six test cases from two test class. And this is because we have not added the allure and unit attribute in one of the class. Here in the report, if you want to see the test status based on test suit, then you can move to this tab. This will display the test cases result based on different test suits. Currently, it listed the default test because we have not created or provided any test suits in our test structure. Similarly, if you want to see the test status based on behavior structure like epics, features, and then the user stories, then you can move to this tab. Currently, this also listed the default test because we have not created or provided any feature or epic in our test structure. And then there are different tabs which you can use. All these tabs display the test execution results in different formats. Now let's move to the project and this time I'm going to add Allure and unit attribute to this class as well. Now to categorize your test classes or methods to different features, suits, and stories, Allure provides different attributes which you can use to mark your test methods or classes. Let's say if I want to mark this test class as part of my test suit, then I can use the attribute Allure suit and then will provide the suit name inside the bracket. These attributes are available under nunit.allure.attribute namespace. Similarly, if I'm interested in a behavior report, then I can provide the attribute to mark my test class as part of a feature by using allure feature attribute. Apart from the test classes, we can also provide the details to different test methods. Like we can provide the description to the test and this will be automatically logged into the report. Also, we can mark the test methods as a test story by using Allure story attribute. And then the stories will be listed under a feature in the report. And if you want, you can add the test step as well in your report using Allure step attribute. Now let me add the same set of details with other test methods as well. Here the test description is, uh, sorry, I have given the incorrect test description. Let me change it to login with invalid password. Similarly, I'll provide the details with other methods and will change the description based on the test method or story. Now let's move to the other class. Here also, I'll add the attribute for LEO suit to mark this class as part of my test suit. And LEO features to mark this class as part of a feature. So you can see there are different attributes provided by Allure to categorize or group your test classes or methods. 
and the same can be seen in the reports as well to easily analyze the test results and from this list i can use another attribute let's say i'm going to use Elior epic epic can be described as a group of different features and let me name the epic as amazon web app so under this epic i'll add all my test features related to amazon web app let me copy the epic into the other test class as well now let me provide the description of the test methods of this test class also when you will see the report then you will know the benefit of categorizing the test using these attributes and i'll also mark the methods with elior story and elior step attribute let me add the same set of details with other test methods also we can also tag the test methods like if they fall under smoke recreation or any other type of test these tagging can be helpful while grouping the test with different test types let me add the tags here in this class as well now apart from these attributes if you want to add test logs in your elio report then that also can be done and in that case you only need to write your logs to the console output elior will automatically pick these test log from the console and will attach it to the html report so that you can see your test logs also at the same place wherever you want the test logs to be recorded you can push the information into the console and then the same will be picked by elior so this is how you can provide different information in your elior test report now if i run my test again then we'll get all these details in the report let's say if my execution is done then i'll again move to the bin folder to get the elior results where i'll open the command prompt to generate the elior html report in the browser So here you can see that we have got our latest elior report which now displays the test execution status of all the test cases i have executed and we can see now we are getting the information of test suits and features at the overview page i can also directly go to these features or test suits by simply clicking on them now it displays that we have two test suits executed as part of this test run and it further contains the test methods or test cases 
for the failed test cases, it displays the reason for the failure or exception as well. Similarly, we can expand other test suits to see the test cases status available under the same. Also, if I go to the behavior tab, then here we can see at root level, it shows the epic information, Amazon Web App. And if I expand it, then it displays all the features available under this epic. Further, these features contains the different test stories. And under those test stories, we'll have our test methods or test cases. Similarly, we can find the same set of details with other features also. To see the test log which we have recorded, then we can go to the test details on the right side. And here we need to expand the console output node, which will display all the test logs we have recorded for this test case. Apart from the test log, we'll also get other details like test description, which we have provided into our test methods, and the test step details. Also, here we can see the tag details which are marked with our test. For this, we have marked it as regression, and for this one, we have marked as smoke. If you have your tests available under different packages, then you can see your test results grouped by the packages as well. So, this is how you can integrate the LEO report with your end unit framework. And you can customize the structure of your report based on your requirement. In the next video, we'll see how to attach a screenshot in case of any failure. That's it for today. I hope you liked this video. Please put your comments in the comment box. Also, please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.